Hi there, it's AJ here with another Block Builder 2 tips video for you. If you want to compare or review different products on your website, then this comparison table that I've created might be just what you're looking for. I'll give you the code so that you can put this on your own website, and I'll also review the styling so you can get it looking just the way you want to. It should be a lot of fun, so just stay tuned. Before we begin, look in the description for this video and there's a download link for the code that you need. I have a block builder page open and the first thing I did was I opened the head section and I pasted in the first part of the code. I then dragged a raw HTML block onto the page where I want the table to display and I paste it in the second part of the code. That's all the HTML to make the table display. If you do that and then preview the page, you'll end up with a duplicate of this. The first thing you'll notice with it is I have a fairly prominent border around one of the columns. I'm not going to discuss that too much right now, we'll look at it later. But just know that we can change the thickness and the colour of the border, we can move it to a different column or we can delete it entirely. But right now I want to review the styling. So I'm opening up the head section again and I'm going to take a look at what we've got in here. This first part you can just ignore that, we don't need to change it at all. This is a link to the Font Awesome website because we're using some of their icons. What we're using is the green check mark, the red X, those orange stars, and also the currency symbol. So let's look at the styling first, and I'm going to make some changes as we go down. In this first one here, the only thing you need to change we may not even want to change it, is the maximum width. I'm going to change that to 100% simply because when I add more columns I don't want it to be too cramped. So that's going to take up the full width of the column now. The next class down, there's nothing to change there other than the font family if you wish. As I scroll down you can see I'm targeting the table data and the table header and I've put the border around the table. That's this very pale grey one that goes around the outside and also in between each cell. The padding is set to 8 pixels, you can increase that if you want to. The next bit is quite interesting really. Um, I've set every even row to have a background colour of F2, 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 which is that very pale grey. And I've set the hover to D, 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 which is a slightly darker grey. If we look at the table, you can see that each row alternating white and medium grey with a darker grey on the hover. The exception is the bottom row which I have left as white. The next row down here is for the first table header and that's the one for the features column. I've set the text align to left because I think it looks better that way. As you can see the text below is all left aligned and I felt that the features header should also be left aligned. And the final one is for the last child that means the very last row, background colour white. And as I've already explained, that is this row. I didn't want the distraction of a hover colour or a background colour in behind my buy now buttons. As I scroll down, the next class is targeting the table headers. So I can change the paddings and the colours and background colour. So let's change this background colour here to 
a very dark grey. I'm going to leave the font as white. As I scroll down a little further, this is for the button for the reviews. You can see it's this one here. Currently it's set to blue. I might change that. We'll make it red. I'm not going to change any of the other style rules here. And I'm going to leave the link color and the hover color the same. The next one down is the buy now button, which is currently green. I'm going to change that to black. If you want to change the border radius and make it a little bigger, you can do that. And down below that is the link colors for these buttons. I have it set to white and yellow. Below that is the colors for the various font awesome icons. So my star color is set to orange. I may change that to yellow. My cross is red and my tick is green and my currency is also green. I don't want to change those. And the final class there is one called middle which is to text align it most of the, uh, the columns. So I'm going to preview the page and let's just see if our changes have taken effect. There we go, it looks a lot different. I know these colours aren't the best but uh, they're great for an example. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can add more columns and rows to this table and uh, change all the details. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe or give me a like and if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments. Bye for now.